Hello everybody, how you guys doing? I connected the bottom rail, the bottom level, with the top level. I did it, and it's fantastic. I'm gonna I'm gonna run the train across here for you guys. Show you guys what I'm talking about. It's on the upper level right now. 027 track. Here we go. All righty. See that? This is the dispatcher. You see that transition from the uh? Man. Yes, sir. Start up and stand by. Out. I did it with one rail. Uh, two uh 036 switches. And I'm gonna leave it just like that. Look at that. Dispatcher, train is outbound. Over. Look at that transition. Have a safe one. Out. Now I'm gonna show you guys something very interesting about this layout here. <clears throat> I'm getting ready to turn this train around. And it's gonna go right back up this ramp right here. I'm gonna bring it down. Matter of fact, let me take it around the top level for a moment. Let me show you guys something. Oh, we're inside of there. I'm gonna show you guys something very interesting with this layout. Watch what I'm gonna do with this train. You see it's on the uh, bottom level right now. And my switches work fine. Let me show you this here. Switch works fine. See switch right here. We got the uh I got the uh fast track switch and then I have the uh 027 switches over there on the same rail right here. On the same rail. But watch what I'm going to do with this train right now. I'm going to bring this train inside on this bottom uh, level. It's going to come around. It's going to go around there. It's going to come around this rail. It's going to come across that crossover. It's going to go around. It's going to come back. And it's going to come back down this rail. And it's going to end up in that same spot where it is, is right now. Now watch this. This is the Art Master. Clear through my limits. Over. Watch the train. Cross that crossover. And come back down this rail. Right? And come back over here. It's going to go back up that ramp. And then when it gets up to this top level, I can do whatever I want to do with this train. I can turn this train back around over here. I can put... Okay. Where's my drill? This guy runs fine until I'm doing a video. I got my drill in my hand right now. 
Because I want to show you guys something. First, let me get this guy on the rail. All right, he's on the rail. Show you guys something. Let me get the power back on. Now, see, everything goes wrong. See, my, my, okay, now it's turned on. It's acting funny. I know when it's acting, uh, acting funny. It only does that when I'm making a video. I'm having problems with the CXX coming up this rail over here. This thing, you guys, this thing has to be down here, right? I got a screw in there, right? So you got to play around with this thing. I got, I, I, got, I got my drill and everything. But he runs fine until you start making a video. So, you know, you got you, you to have this rail uh, all the way down. But anyhow, these guys come off the rail. I don't feel like drilling. I can't do it right now with the phone in my hand. But anyhow, he's up on the top rail right now. This guy, only when I'm making a video. What are you doing? Okay. Oh man, I'm tight, man. I am. You're gonna get a spanking, you know that? You don't do this stuff. So maybe it's me, I ain't putting you on the rail right. So used to the Santa face trucks putting it on there, I gotta get used to you. Okay. Now my universal. I got something going on over there. I'm not gonna be using this outside rail for a moment. I gotta fix this problem over there, cause I was just over there, you see the screws out? making some adjustments over here to this rail, sacking up. And I gotta, I gotta screw it down, but not permanently because like I said, I gotta get some rails back here. I gotta get some 027 rails back there. This guy's really, really messing the video up. Like, I run my trains. Okay. You're not going over that piece. Get out of there. I don't know what's going on over here. Let me see. Uh, maybe the train is hitting the screw. Probably doing this during a video. So you gotta straighten this thing out. And uh Alright, you're not using the bottom rail right now. And I need the bottom rail. I'm making a video. This is what this whole thing is about. Okay. Okay. Now you know, God, what are you doing? Going back over there. Shit, not. I don't know if I was ever training you guys now. Okay. Training is being bad, the track is being bad right now. Now the wires is getting in the messy place. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, about this thing here. I'm just still with me here. Okay. Now. Uh, I can turn the train around on the top level too. Like, see the CXX right now? Huh, I'm gonna turn this guy around. Come back up. Oh, you guys wanna see this guy go back in the rail here? Put him back down there on the bottom rail. Bottom rail is looking fine. Yeah, you're going on the bottom rail. See? Okay, I'm on the bottom rail. Yeah, I gotta do some work on the top rail. I keep on the bottom rail.
Well, he's coming back over here again. Yeah, track pattern, how I got it. All I gotta do is switch the track. Now, you're not going back up there. Yeah, we're getting back up all off there. You're not going back up there, man. You're getting misbehaving during the video. You know you can go over that curve if you wanted to. Oh, man. I didn't even know I had a lot of lines on there the whole time. Oh man, it's a little accident. Everything goes wrong here. I didn't even know this guy was on there. Thought I took all the trains off. So I wanted to show you guys a uh, train going around the track here. Okay. Let me get this guy over there. Okay, now, where are you going? This rail is on, but I have this rail running with an AC, with an AC transformer. I have the uh, top and bottom rail with DC. Let me show you something, guys, very important right here. This 180 watt transformer that I got is powering this whole uh, layout, the bottom and the top, okay? I have the wires connected. This is a 30 inch piece of fast track right here. I got it connected to a 30 piece inch of fast track and I also have electricity going into that triangle right there. See that triangle? The electricity going in there in the bottom rail. Now, I just removed, let me show you guys something very important before I run this operation. I just removed the wires uh, from this triangle on the top. I had wires coming out of that transformer uh, to the top rail before I connected uh, the bottom and uh, before I connected these two rails, I had electricity going into there. But when I connected these two rails and I turned my transformer on, the red light would come on. And I had to figure out what the electrical problem was. So I had to remove the two wires that I had from going in this upper level triangle. It's still right there. And they're live. They should uh, close them down. I'm live. It's just let you should come out of there. They're live, but they're just, just uh, disconnected. But I had to disconnect the... Uh, electricity from um, uh, this triangle on the second level in which I was getting uh, excellent uh, electricity flow uh, from both sides, this side and that side. Now, on the bottom rail, the, the, the only electricity that's going to the upper level is from this 30 inch piece right here. This 30 inch piece, is bringing electricity across this rail over here to this whole top rail and the middle rail. You understand? And I'm getting good electricity on the second rail of this layout right here. Now, I'm going to show you guys where I'm having an electrical problem at. Uh, it's not really an electrical problem. It's where I lose a little bit of my electricity on this rail here uh, uh, on, on the bottom level. And I'll explain to you guys why and why that happens. Okay. See this track right there? That track has like a, a one and three eighths piece, a one and three quarter piece, a, a couple of pieces like four or five. Right? Bear with me with this map. I'd be having a lot of numerals going on in my head. And those pieces, they look like this. Because I can remove these pieces off of this crossover right here. They look like this. And I got them on both sides. I got them over there too. Of this rail right here. So, and I got my electricity going to this triangle. Excellent electricity on this side of, of, of the layout. 
Over this side, I lose a little bit of power because of those wires, the electricity flowing on both sides. Now, I used to have uh, electricity going into that oval over there, and I took it off because I had to use those wires to connect this top rail and all that kind of stuff. So once I connect these two wires that I just uh, uh, connect from over here, I want to put those two wires over there and that oval. And then my trains will be even flying around in that oval right there, flying around there as complete. Uh, I don't have no problem with the circulation of uh, electricity on the top rail. All the way around. The outer rail is good, the inner rail. And like I said, I want to run eight trains on this, uh, uh, on, 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 on this thing. Now, this operation that I'm getting ready to run right now with this train, because this rail right here. This is the dispatcher. Get us set up running. Your train will be ready at 1730. Over. This train. Yes, sir. Start up and stand by. Out. Okay. This rail right here, I got an AC charger. I'm just going to show you right now. This rail is going to stay on the floor right here. This one right here is going to stay on the floor. And I'm going to put a rail on top of you, uh, on top of here. I'm going to explain you guys how this thing is going to work in, in a moment after I run this operation. Guys up the track. Oh, my couple is not open. Okay. Couple is not open. Oh, it's okay. Now this rail right here is connected right here with a transformer right there. And I'm going to show you how long this rail goes. I just got it laid out right here, make sure I got good electricity flow. And I do got good electricity flow. Uh, this is around 20, 20 feet that I'm going back here. So I got good electricity flow in this rail. So you see the rail is working fine. Thank you. 
Got good let system yes, flow. I got good let system flow in this round. going to go on now. I got the upper and the lower rail. I got the upper and the lower uh, level uh, connected. The 027 track with uh, the fast track. Uh, I got it connected. Now, I only got 35 inches to do what I got to do with my, uh, my switch tracks because I can't switch. This thing starts elevating over here. Right? This goes down a little bit. Okay, let me just change it. Dispatcher, train is outbound. Over. Okay. With this operation right here, I only have 35 inches to do what I got to do. And that's from here to there. Now, there's two things that I, I, I'm thinking about doing. This crossover is going somewhere else. I'm going to figure that out in a moment. That's definitely going on this uh, uh, layout, that crossover. It has to. That's number one. Okay. Now, number two, I'm going to move this 10-inch piece down 5 inches. So I'm on right here. I already got it calculated in my head. It's going to be moved down over here. And, and actually, it has to be moved down. I have to. Okay? You know, I, I don't have to. I can leave this thing here just like I got it right here. You understand? Just one rail uh, connecting uh, each other. You understand? And these guys can share the rail and stuff like that. And that makes it even more exciting that, you know, the train got to stop over here for this train to use the rail. Because I could train, I could turn the train around with my figure eights on the top and bottom, so that's no problem. You understand? Uh, so I could actually leave it right where it's at, but I can't do that. And I'm going to explain to you guys why I can't do that. Now, I'm going to back this 10 inch piece up. It's 10 inch piece, I'm going to back it up five inches, right. I don't want to confuse myself and you guys. I know what I got to do. Sometimes it's hard to explain to you guys and get all things twisted around with this math and all that. But anyhow, this piece is going back over here five inches, right? So this whole operation could go back, right? And I need that to do that is because I'm going to put, I'm going to put a 10 inch, this is a, um, O36 uh, switch here. I'm gonna put a 072 right here, right? I got 10 inches to do that. You playing some musical chairs right here uh, where the five inch piece is somewhere over here. I think where's the five inch piece? Okay, yeah, this five inch piece here. We gotta move this over there and believe me, I got it. I meditated on last night of how we gotta do this thing. I got uh, a, a, a couple of options of what I could do with this connection and and I'm, I'm limited now because I'm connecting this rail on here okay this rail that's going into my bedroom 
is getting connected onto this rail right here. And I'm thinking what I'm going to use 026 track or fast track on this bottom level going into my bedroom. And there's going to be a top level to this thing here connected to this top rail. It's going to go on top of here. It's going to swing from over here because i got to move this down five inches too. And it's going to swing from over here and it's going to be on top of this rail. It's going to be on top of this one. Now that one is definitely going to be 027 track. I could actually put this track right here on the ground. This one here that I got to go to my bedroom. I can connect that over there, no problem. I have to take off the AC uh, transformer. You can't run the AC and the DC together. So this rail is good. I got good electricity flow in there. I just showed you this guy. It goes all the way to my bedroom and it makes a little turn and comes back out here. And it connects to this rail right here. Now, the reason why I got to do all of that stuff there, moving the five pieces, uh, five inch down and all that kind of stuff, because I need a switch track over here coming out. You get that switch track, of a fast track coming out here, right? And put a 10 inch piece on there, get my transition. Oh, well, I'm like I said, I'm thinking because I may use fast track for this whole bottom rail, right? Use fast track for this whole bottom rail. What's this plan I got going on here? Use fast track for this whole straight thing here because it's only going to be one rail, right? And then stop with the fast track, like around right here. Put the transition back onto the old 27 track so I could get this 27 uh, degree um, uh, radius. Because that this, this rail right here comes back over here and it connects over here with just one 027 track. So it's going to be one little small loop come here so the train can come in here, turn around, and come back here and start back with the fast track, right? Fast track on the bottom level, fast track on the bottom level, fast track on the bottom level, uh, fast track uh, connected onto that fast track over there, no problem. And then take this 027 track that I got on the bottom and put it on top of that fast track. Just like I got the fast track on the bottom, and I got the uh, 027 track on the top. And, and take this 027 and put that rail right on there. And I have a double decker going over here to my bedroom and coming around that curve uh, over there. Now, this piece. Now, another thing I want to explain to you guys about this railroad. Each one of my switch tracks that I got on there is for a purpose. I need them there. I'm not just putting the switch tracks there because it look cool and all of that stuff. I needed the switch tracks wherever I, I, I needed. Now, if I didn't have this rail right here, was going to connect this rail over here, this would be fine. Just one switch uh, over. Those trains got to uh, wait until this, the, 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 the train comes across this rail and all that you know you don't have to put another switch track here you know even though it would be nice to have it there you don't need it you got the connection over there and i could turn and i could turn my train around and all that stuff there but now being that i'm connecting this rail i got to change my plans with this with this operation unless i can find out a way how to turn this situation into that and, and, and with that which is very hard right now because, like I said, I only got 35 inches to do my switching because the train started, the track starts elevating over there and the train starts elevating over there. Now, uh, you know, I could elevate this track over here if I want to, but I don't want to do all of that. So I got 35 inches to work with. Of, of, of this fast track and I'm gonna keep it like that. So like I said, I got uh, the decision to make of what I wanna do with this 10 inches that I got. I'm gonna go over here or over here. I'm going over here because I'm connecting this rail over here. 
So when this train comes out of here and gets on this rail over here, it go on the bottom loop, it go on the bottom loop. I got 20, 20, 22 feet coming from my bedroom and from here to here, it's like another, I didn't measure it and I don't want to measure it. I measure it when I start putting it on there. But anyhow, so this piece is definitely going on there. He has to. Right? Now, let me show you the other problem that I have. It's not really a big problem. I can solve it. It's this. This track right here, where I got my power going in, this is a 30-inch uh, piece of fast track. It looked like it's in sections, but this is all one piece right here. It's all one piece. And I like that. To have my electricity going into a 30 inch piece instead of a 10 inch piece. Good electricity flow, right? Now, I gotta break this up. I gotta take this 30 inch piece out of here. And I gotta put three 10 inch pieces in here if I wanna put this crossover in there now. Okay? Because now, this bad boy is going like this. Now, I'm working with a tight thing here with this railroad. Do you understand? Uh, and, and, and that's what I'm looking at. This crossover is going on this, uh, on this layout, even if these things is hanging off somewhere. And I gotta put some track on there. So this is going on there. Don't even worry about that. This crossover is going on there. Now, what I got there of connecting the uh, the uh, the fast track together with the uh, the O27 track. I used to have two rails over here. That I used to have two rails where I could go from the outer loop to the inner loop. There was 36 inches uh, 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 O36 uh, switches. I took them off and put two straight tracks and put them together and put them over there, and it worked out excellent. Here they go right here. You know, I had it all along, the connection here, you understand? But I want, and I'm gonna put those back over here. So now I gotta buy another two uh, O36, I want that over there. It's important rail to get it in there, over there. Okay. Now, so this rail has to get connected over here. If I can figure out which is hard. Somehow, to put this crossover into this operation, I would do it. But like I said, I only got 36 inches to do, uh, 35 inches to do this thing here. Right? 35 inches, right? So might as well just go ahead and put another 030, uh, uh, 072 over here to connect it to this rail. And put the uh, transition piece on there and connect the rail. But in any event, this bad boy is going on there. Okay, I, I gotta figure. I gotta figure that riddle out, right? And uh, like I said, I gotta order some more tra uh, a fast track for the uh, the bottom level there. This here, this here. And like I said, I'm still thinking about it. I could use O27 on the bottom. Right? I connected with the fast track over there. Right? Uh, 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 over there. And, and, uh, put some fast track and a transition connected with the, uh, O27. I could do that. Use the O27 on the bottom and on the top that's going in my bedroom. I could do that. Or, I, and, which would be less expensive. Because the fast track is more expensive than the um, the uh, O27 track. I don't have no problem with the O27 track. I don't have no problem with the fast track. Both of them run well. And they're very compatible with each other. And, 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 and like I said, I'm blown away because this top, this uh, railroad is built on as much uh, size as I could get. It's just randomly, randomly, I stopped 
right here is because my refrigerator is here. I want to be able to open up my refrigerator door, right? So, you know, I'm trying to get as much real, get this thing back as far as possible. So I dropped it right here. And by so doing, dropping it right here, and, and, and how this thing here is lined up like this, then watch this. Watch these real. You see the fast track? You see the old 27 track, the same pattern? This. Where's my tape man? Oh man, okay, there's my tape This is, this is, this is, this is, this is pretty wild, man. Hold, uh, hold on, let me turn the power off. Power goes off, tape measure comes out. Power off. Power off. Power off. Look at this. Check this out. Look at this dimensions here. This is uh, two and a half. Uh, two and three eighths, because I looked at you guys the way uh, 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 two and three eighths. Somewhere over there. We, we come here and here, right? You see? All I gotta do is just move this over a little bit. Okay. Uh, it's about on the money. It, it, it's supposed to be this thing got a little play in it. You can move it back and forth. But in any event, this is where this is supposed to be. This, with this thing here, uh, these loops here, this thing li lines up perfectly. This is where this is supposed to be. That's where I'm blown away. I'm blown. I'm blown. I'm blown. I'm blown away with, the, with, with with that. This is where this is supposed to be. And like I said, you you got just enough room to make this connection of the bottom loop and the bottom loop when you got a ramp like this. Because like I said, I can't bring this ramp down anymore. It's going to be too much of a slope on that train, too much of a pull on the engine. This is the sweet spot right here. This is the sweet spot. And like I said, I, 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 I put together this bottom rail of this fast track as big as I could get it, right? And I put this top rail on here as big as I could get it. Same track pattern. Swung them rails around. Got them down here. These things just lined up. And I was sitting here last night. I was thinking, I was like, yo, let me, let me take these two old 36 switches off from over there. Took the old 36s off of there, right? And I put them together. And I put them right on there. I said, man, you sitting here waiting to get some old 72 switches, man. Get that rails on there, man. I put that thing on there. I was running them trains off on there. Uh fine. And I was sitting here with this old uh with this crossover saying, yeah, this crossover's gotta get on there. It has to. So that's the situation here with this uh 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 Railroad, like I said, I got good electricity on this rail right here. Just showed you. And all I'm using is a, a, a Lionel a started transformer. It ran this whole rail from the, uh, from my bedroom. Good electricity. And like I said, the only electrical thing I got to do with this thing here is I got to put some wires in over here. This outer loop, I got to connect those wires to that outer loop. And after that, Good electricity flow. The 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 on this outer rail, this outer rail, I got one Lionel fast track switch. Yeah, let me turn the power on. Right? This is uh one Lionel um O36 switch. See? Look. Good electricity flow. On the same line, right, you're going to come up here. Where are my switches? That one makes a little noise, but that's all right. I don't care. Got good electricity flow in there. See? No problem. Right? All of them works good. I'm having a problem with this switch over here. It's alright. 
All the other ones work fine. Now. Yeah. This important rail right here. This definitely had to get a switch right. And this manual one over here, definitely now I got to change this manual. This definitely, definitely got to get a, 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 a remote switch there in that spot there. Definitely, definitely, definitely got to get a switch right over there. Okay, so uh, this is the layout, man. Update. Top and bottom is connected. That is, is, is complete. Like I said, just got to move this whole thing down here five inches. And that's all I can move it down is five inches. No more. I can't push it no more. Okay? That's it. I can't put, uh, I, I got to sit down and, like I said, to put this bad boy on here is like around $500. Weight species is like $137 each. Weighs four of them. Right? So... That's what I got to work with. I like it. I can leave it just like that. I can leave it just like that. You know, and start fastening this rail in here because, you know, I'd be out filming trains and stuff like that, you know, freight trains and stuff like that. They just don't be putting switch tracks, just be putting switch tracks. This is a necessary switch track right here. Very necessary. And I only needed one. Because like I said, I could turn my trains around. I could turn my trains around on the bottom and on the top. So if I'm running eight trains, doesn't matter. I'll stop the train and the train that come this way, you got to wait. Put a cross symbol here. Put a cross symbol here. Just for, for the bottom. Uh, 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 there's only one rail to get on the top and bottom. It's better than having no rail. So just one. Because I told you, I need this other 10 inches here to get to this rail. Shit. So, I might leave it, I'll leave it just like that. That bad boy is going on there, don't worry about it. This triangle has it going there. One of my videos, I'm going to hook this guy up. Uh, may not be on the layout, because I know I'm going to have to buy at least two, uh, two uh, or three 072 switches to put this guy on. Definitely. That's why this guy's going to be here for a little while. I, in order to put this switch on, I'm going to have to have at least, I already know, maybe even four, I don't know. I don't even want to count really right now to put this switch on this layout. Right? So this is going to be like $500 operation to put this one. This is this bad boy on. Because then I'm going to probably need some... Uh, Half inch pieces and uh, stuff like that. But uh, anyhow, it's done. I'll turn this power off. Upper and uh, lower level of uh, fast track, bottom one. And that's a, that'd be a good question. Which, which rail do I like, the fast track or the uh, 027 track? I don't, I, I don't know. I got to meditate on that one. Because my bottom rails, that fast track, they spark a lot too. Especially when I put that uh, uh, conventional uh, 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 line that lines on there, they spark, right? But not as much as that 027 track. That 027 track, boy, is uh, electrified, man. This just sparks up a storm, man, the, uh, the, the, uh, the thing there. It lets me know where I got electricity. Either I got electricity or I don't. Because if my rails is not sparking, then something is wrong. <laughs> something, some, something is wrong. And I got these bad boys connected over here. Man, this is cool. Now, I'm going to tell you another thing. And, 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 and I'm, try I'm trying to figure out. I got good traction. With this 027, when I bring up the uh, my, my trains up here, because I don't put any rubbers on my train, any of the rubbers or uh, the tires, and those trains come up there very well. Look, let me show you guys some. You see, you see, you see those uh, tires? They don't have any rubbers on there. This guy is coming up an implant. If I was to put the rubbers on there, it would be better. Uh, 
traction coming up that rail. But when you put the rubbers on there, I know people's going to argue with me. I'm going to show you the rubbers right now. That's what they look like. Right? When you put these rubbers on there, it elevates... It elevates... This right here. Right? And then when the train switches, it has less thing inside that groove. It's easier for the train to come off. I don't use it. Real trains don't have any rubbers on the tire, period. And those rubbers, they, 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 they cause the train, the tracks to get real dirty, right? Cause the tracks to get real dirty. So I don't, I take all the rubbers off of my uh, trains. So now if this train is pulling a load and it got those rubbers on there, it's going to be some real strain on that engine. But if you don't got the ties on there, and you got a load on here, the ties is going to slide. The metal is going to be on there. It's going to slide. The engine is going to keep going. You understand? But the train, the, the, the ties are going to be sliding. So you got the, you got those rubber ties on there, and you got a load on the back. Those ties is going to cause the engine to keep pulling on that load back there, and it's going to be damaging on the engine. I want to show you something what happened to my Santa Fe because I learned something that, you know, very important. I fixed my Santa Fe two times. These rails, my rails is not tacked down. And the reason why my rails is not tacked down is because I keep moving my rails around. You understand? And I'm going to be doing some more moving the rails around on the top. And it's really lazy, being lazy, uh, that I don't got them tacked down. And then, you know, when it's time to... Uh, uh, Make some changes, you know, take the screws out or whatever the case may be. Because when the rail is like this, it's no good. I'm gonna show you guys right, I'm gonna show you guys show you guys right now why it's not good. This is my baby right here too. You see the Santa Fe here? See the trucks? Let me put these trucks on here. Now, there's play. There's play in here like this with this engine. Because you got wires going up under here, connecting to the engine and this train. When this thing is not down here, this train is, is bouncing around like this here, going up and down, pulling on those wires inside of there, which is not good. This track has to be horizontal. I mean, this thing got to be down. And I'm going to get it down after I finish working on this rail, on this top rail. You know what I mean? I keep moving stuff around. This thing last night when I was taking this thing off and putting this thing here, I don't like taking the rail up. You know, this thing moves around. You got to adjust everything and stuff like that. You know, if I had screws on there, I'd be, you know, it'd be madness. But in any event, tack your, use an 027 track, make sure that it is down. You could damage a, a expensive train. You run that expensive train on this uh, 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 on uh, this O twenty seven track. You understand? Because like I said, there's play in here. There's play with those wires. See? See how this goes up and down? There's wires in there connected to the bottom of that uh, 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 thing there, and, and and it pulls the wires. You know. When it goes through, the train goes up and down like that. It's no good. But I gotta remove this uh, manual switch track. I gotta remove that manual switch track and put uh, remotes. And remove that one and um, put remotes and stuff like that. I want all manual, uh, all remote control switches on my on on, on my second level. So uh, yeah, that's the layout update. That's the. Uh, the uh the, the intersection which like i said i think i'm just gonna have this one uh connection uh for the upper and, the, and lower that's all i need you know and then like i said use that other 10 inches to uh connect to that other rail and whether i'm gonna use fast track or 27 track i don't know okay i got the lower and the upper rail connected. 
And when you got this thing connected like this, you see what I got here? I'm going to show you guys something very important before I start this video out. When you got this bad boy lined up, you see this link right here? You see that link right there? This is 10 inches. You see that link right there? You see that link right there? It's right here. That link and that link. This link and that link. This link and that link. Listen, you can't get no more on the money than that. You understand? Lining up both of these figure eights. The fast track and the 027 track. That's on the money. Got it connected. Trains are going to be running in one moment.
see what happens when you don't have a non derailing feature on the thing. The switch is supposed to be like this. Well, that is a uh, remote switch. Just having problems with that switch.